Zombie Booger Candied Popcorn. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max. Twelve. Hello, everyone. To make the syrup for the popcorn, you're going to start off with a large saucepan or Dutch oven over medium high heat. And in that, you're going to melt one cup of salted butter. Once the butter is melted, add in two cups of white granulated sugar and one half cup of corn syrup. You can use the light or the dark corn syrup. That's your choice. Stir that together and continue to stir over medium high heat until it starts to boil. Once the mixture starts to boil, you don't have to stir anymore. Just let it cook for four minutes. Make sure you set your timer so you don't forget it. Now, while you're waiting for that to cook, you can prepare your popcorn. Those are two baking sheets. Actually, they're cookie sheets with a rim that I've lined with aluminum foil, and it's the non-stick kind. And you'll need some popcorn. You'll need 16 to 20 cups of pop popcorn. I use this natural flavor microwave popcorn that's just lightly salted. And I used two microwave packages for that. I popped them in the microwave, and then I divided them between the two baking sheets and spread it out so it's as even as you can get it. And then set that aside. Your syrup after four minutes will have changed color a little bit, a little bit, a little bit darker in color. Remove it from the heat, add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and enough green food color to get to whatever shade of green you think that zombie boogers should be. Then add one teaspoon of baking soda and stir that in. Now it should start to foam up quite a bit as soon as you start to stir it in. If it's not foaming at all, just put it back on the heat just for a few seconds and stir it a little bit and it should start to foam up right away and it'll almost double in volume. But don't leave it on the heat very long. As soon as it starts to foam up, remove it again. Then take this mixture and pour it on top of your popcorn. And remember, you have to divide this between the two baking dishes. Now it's gonna be hard to get the syrup to spread out nicely, but that's okay because you're gonna stir the popcorn up. Now you're gonna find that the syrup is gonna cool right away and you're gonna say, how am I gonna get the syrup over all of this popcorn? Don't worry about that because you're gonna take these baking sheets and you're gonna put them in the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And you're gonna bake these in the oven for an hour. Every 15 minutes, go into the oven and stir your popcorn. And you will find that after an hour, after stirring every 15 minutes, the green color will be spread to pretty much every piece of popcorn that you have in there. Then take it out of the oven, let it cool for about five minutes, and then break it up into small clumps and your zombie boogers are done. Now I found these adorable zombie booger labels online. It's a free printable, and I will put a link to that in the description box if you wanna print these out. So all I did is I put the popcorn into Ziploc bags, made a little topper for it, and stapled it on, and it's done. Another really fun and easy Halloween treat to make are these Monster Eye cookies, and they actually start off using a cake mix and are delicious. If you want to see this video, go ahead and click right on your screen or see the link in the description box below the video. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a single Halloween recipe this month, please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the hamster. Thanks for watching.